The biggest surprise from the 2023 NBA Draft was Cam Whitmore sliding all the way down to pick number 20, where the Houston Rockets took him. This was a pretty big win for the Rockets, considering some projected he'd go fourth overall to them. Of course, they took a man Thompson with that selection and were still able to get Whitmore later in the draft. Whitmore appeared in 47 games for Houston in his rookie campaign, averaging 12.3 points, 3.8 rebounds, 0.7 assists, 0.6 steals, and 0.4 blocks in 18.7 minutes of action per contest. Where he exceeded expectations was with his shooting off the catch from three-point range. Now this was something the Rockets were poor at as a team, ranking 26th in catch-and-shoot three-point percentage. Whitmore, however, surprisingly, from a percentage standpoint, was the team's best at this, both as a standstill shooter and off movement. On 129 catch-and-shoot three-point attempts, according to Second Spectrum, he shot 44.2%. Among the 236 players who took at least 100 of them, that was the 20th best mark. Even more impressive is that if you look only at his movement shooting off the catch, his 45.2% shooting was 11th best among the 172 players who took at least 40 of these shots. Interestingly enough, the player who ranked number one in this category was LeBron James. And when I say movement shooting, that could mean relocating off an off-ball screen, popping back to the three-point line as a screener in the pick and pop, running the floor in transition, or simply sliding around the arc to get more space for an open jumper. It's worth noting that Fred Van Fleet shot it well in these situations as well. He made 43.8% of his 80 attempts that ranked 5th among the 77 players who took at least 75 of them. Perfect. 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 Houston's biggest problem offensively was its poor outside shooting off kickout passes from the paint. This has become the biggest indicator of team success offensively in the NBA. The Rockets had the 4th worst 3 point percentage in these situations. The top 10 teams in this category were the Bucks, Pelicans, Cavs, Timberwolves, Nuggets, Lakers, Knicks, Celtics, Mavericks, and 76ers, all playoff teams. The worst 10 teams were the Spurs, Pistons, Jazz, Rockets, Bulls, Grizzlies, Blazers, Suns, Pacers, and Clippers. Only those last three teams made the playoffs. Drafting Reed Shepard out of Kentucky third overall in the 2024 NBA Draft should help with this. He was by far and away the best shooter in this year's draft class. With Whitmore, his shooting off the dribble was the complete opposite of his off the catch shooting. On 82 attempts, he only shot 24.4% from three point distance with at least one dribble beforehand. Among the 101 players with at least 75 of these shots, that was the worst percentage. 50 of these shots for Whitmore were step backs, and he only made 22% of them. Something he does well is finish with authority off cuts. Of his 28 made shots off cuts, 15 were dunks. He had 40 dunks total, which is a high number for the amount of minutes he played. In transition, Whitmore can be electric. He actually averaged the most transition shot attempts per 100 possessions on the Rockets, making 54.8% of his 104 attempts. I was expecting him to have a little quicker of a first step. His blow by percentage on drives was 24%, which is a little below the average. He's much more about bully ball and throwing his body into defenders with his power, as you can see from these clips. Something I did find interesting related to that though is that he had a very poor N1 rate. For someone as strong as he appears to be, 
He doesn't finish through contact well at all. In fact, on 55 shooting fouls, he only made 8 of those shots, which is 14.6%. Among the 168 players who drew at least 50 shooting fouls, that was the 6th worst mark. We'll see what he becomes defensively. There are questions about his defensive motor and engagement. His contest rate was poor. Of the 350 players who were the closest defender to at least 200 shots, Whitmore had the 24th worst contest rate per second spectrum. The Rockets as a team ranked 10th in defense. We know how much Ime Udoka prioritizes that end of the floor, so I think we'll see even more improvement from them defensively next season. Now he also spent time in the G League with the Rio Grande Valley Vipers. In 13 games, he averaged 26.2 points, 6.8 rebounds, 3.0 assists, and 2.1 steals. He averaged the most shot attempts per game among qualified players. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.